Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Dago here, and welcome back to this war of mine. We had an absolutely terrible episode last time. We are doing very poorly on food. We're doing very poorly on materials. And we lost Pavel. The only bright side currently is that the snow has finally gone away. And it's starting to get warmer. It's still not warm, but we're, we're in better shape now than we were just a couple days ago. So I've got to keep my wits about me uh, and hopefully just be able to survive long enough to see a better time. But uh, yeah, it was a hard blow losing Pavel and I'm feeling really, really down about it. So. Gonna have to try and continue to make better decisions. Uh, I'm really disappointed with myself because the only reason that Pavel died is because I was clumsy with the scavenging. I made too much noise and then I panicked and tried to get out and couldn't. Which is pretty much exactly what happened the last time. <laughs> but uh, the last time I lost someone, but you know what? I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. And I'm gonna keep trying to do my best for these guys because, dang it, I am tired. <laughs> so let's get some water. I know it's getting cold. Do we have any water? Oof. No, not really. Alright, Bruno is hungry and I'm sure he's very uh, everyone's gonna be very hungry by tomorrow I'm sure <sighs> all right Marin why don't you come down here please Man, we can't do anything without water. Oh, and we can't make water out of snow anymore. That's weird. What are we supposed to do it with, with all this? Ugh. All right, well, that's gonna take several hours. Bruno's still tired. Um. I guess. I know it's chilly, but you're not gonna get- We are happy to announce it is getting warmer. The temperatures should continue to rise in the upcoming days. This may bring some relief to the citizens of Pogorin. Yay. Fresh vegetables are becoming a rare commodity in Pogorin. Their prices will gradually be rising according to our an analysts. As if war wasn't enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. We can- we can't make anything. We don't have enough water. Uh, it's a little chilly, but thankfully it shouldn't get too much colder than that, I would think. I'm- I'm still- I'm- I'm probably gonna be upset for the rest of the game about Pavel. Just- that's just- that's just news. That's gonna- I get- Grumpy. Very grumpy. What do you want? At the bus station, I learned from the other commuters that were under- that we were under siege, and no bus towards my town would leave. I was shattered. If it wasn't for me, my friend would have left town and gone abroad to her aunt, but I convinced her to stay. And now, now I don't know if she's well. I haven't heard from her ever since the siege began. All right. Actually, you know what? This, no, 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 go back to bed. Go back to bed. Turn off the music, please. Don't want to listen to that garbage. Thank you. All right, Marin. 
Is there anything? Is there anything? Nope. 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 Nothing. We've got... We, we've got literally nothing. Oh, Roman's not sad anymore. Jeez, Roman. It's alright. I'll be sad enough for all of us. So once this is done, it's running out of time, but I am gonna see if cooking is even possible. I think we're completely out of... I don't think we have enough water. No. And we don't have kindling. Alright, end the day. So we can get to everything again, which is good. I'm gonna send Roman out scavenging. Everyone else is gonna guard. We can't visit the quiet house. Central Square construction site has some meds and has some weapons, so we don't need to go there. Supermarket has some weapons. The hotel. Lots of food, lots of meds, huge amounts of weapons, lots of parts. Caution advised. I'm not really certain I want to go back there. Military outpost, St. Mary's Church. Some food, lots of meds, huge amounts of weapons, some parts, possible trade. Uh, decrepit squat, we've already been in there. Shelled school. Oh. There's nothing, there's nothing good. I could go back to the church. The vestry behind the church is devastated and abandoned. We could find some useful materials there. Let's go to the church. Because hopefully it's unlikely that anyone will try to shoot me in the face. Or the back. Or the butt. Shoot me anywhere, really. <sighs> Why? Why does it happen to me? I don't know. These old pictures got all dusty. Bloody vermin. Oh, okay, you're not looking at me. Oh wait, no, I won't take that. been nice to know about. All this time that was just sitting there, unguarded, waiting. <sighs> of course, it's probably going to make people sad that we had to steal. It's never a good thing. Never a good thing for the stealing. There's always consequences. <sighs> War's gotta be over sometime, right? They will survive. You didn't even take everything. We've been raided. 
Someone tried to rob us. It was quite a tough group, but we managed to fend them off. Too bad we had no weapons. None of us were wo wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. All right. Now Roman is sad. And everyone's tired. And Bruno... And everyone's very hungry. Okay. Bruno, what do we need to do to get some food around here? Um... We need water and kindling. How much kindling? Two. Make two kindling. How much water do we need? We have four. Out of the way, Marin. How much water? Oh, we have... We need more. Um, okay, uh, Marin. How could Roman leave all those people- leave those people with almost nothing? He didn't! You jackass! We're trying the best that we can here. <sighs> Getting food is now a priority. Supplies are so hard to come by. If Roman hadn't stolen goods, we'd be in an even worse situation. That's true. I don't plan to die here. If it means I sometimes have to steal, so be it. All right. Uh, Bruno, get some water going, please. What matters is that we have supplies. How we got them is of less concern. Okay. Marin. Uh, yeah, we're still we're still in the absolute hole, but. We're gonna, at least we're gonna get some food going. Oh, great, Bruno's depressed. Yes, Bruno, we are that desperate. Oh my gosh. Why don't you go have a couple cans of food? Maybe you'll feel better once you've had some food. Great. Everyone's... Everyone's in a bad place. <sighs> There's no way to win. We need that water. And I'm gonna wait for it. You guys... Can go to sleep instead, I guess. Everyone go to sleep. Once we have water, we'll cook. Oh boy, I can't have them getting depressed on me though. I really can't. It took forever for Pavel to stop being depressed. Like, I need you guys to hang in there, okay? Like, keep it together. Man, I'm sure that it's possible to get through all of this simply by scavenging and trading. We are currently having to go the route of stealing sometimes, uh, but at least we haven't killed anybody, which is not saying much, but at least we haven't killed anybody. <sighs> oh gosh. Cut me some slack here, people. Please. And there's a part of me that wants to go back there tonight, but if Bruno's gonna get depressed about it... I mean, that's the last thing I need is for- is for people to give up the will to live when I'm trying to keep them alive! Ugh. <sighs> If everyone's well and and has eaten, hopefully that will be enough. All right, Bruno, I need you to get up and cook. I'm sorry. Go on. Uh. 
All right, get that going. Go to sleep. Everyone's sad, so will you stop griping about Roman? He did what he had to do. All right, Roman, time for you to eat. Go talk to Bruno. Sad, sad, depressed. Why can't I... I can't... I can't talk to him, apparently. Okay, I can't talk to him. Let's just end the day then. Okay, so Bruno's gonna sleep in a bed. Marin's gonna stand guard and Roman is gonna scavenge. Oh boy. Where can we go? Some food, some parts, possible trade. All right, let's go there, see what we can find. Hmm. Yeah, I could use some materials. What do you got? Oh, I've got nothing. Everyone's up for trade. Now what? Oh, that's right. Oh no! I should have brought a lock pick. Oh, I done goofed. I done goofed. I forgot all about that. Man, Romans are slow runner. All right, well, that was that. At least we didn't... It's a neutral night. We didn't get anything, but we didn't hopefully cause any more issues. Oh, great. Outbreak of crime. We've probably been robbed. Night was calm. Everyone go to bed. Okay, at least Bruno is just sad instead of all the way depressed. It's been several days since I last smoked. Not gonna help you out with that one. We have bandages, we have medicine. Theoretically, could take those to trade. Um, let's see here. What do we need to cook again? Wait, where's our water? Three. Haven't been able to catch my breath enough to even use the crafting stations I put all those materials into making! 
Oh, we need kindling if we're gonna make that food. And this would require two kindling and two more water, which we could... Two kindling and a water filter is what we need. Well, I can... I can do that. Hang in there, Bruno. You sack of crap. Mm. I am so sorry that, that a cigarette would make you feel better, but my sympathy for you is zip on that. It is wartime. There is no possible chance of smoking. Oh, good. Let's go see what's this about. What white might we possibly trade? Yeah, I've got medicine and bandages that I can trade for with you, dude. Uh, let's see here. You can take them all. In fact, you can take all the tobacco, too, because that's not going to be useful to me anytime soon. All right. And you can have a bullet. I will take... that and that... What is that? Alcohol. Um... Take the book. Haven't had a book in a while. Okay. Ooh. All right. Deal. I want more though. No, I don't want it. Okay. Deal? This is a good trade! Maybe I should- I should probably keep one medicine, just to be on the safe side. No, take the sugar. Um... Hmm. You can also have... Okay, how about that? Yeah? Deal. Now get out of here. Let's get some water going and then we can cook. Because for first time in a while... Oh, it's actually getting cold! Look at that! Crazy! What's that all about? Alright. Got two sleepers. Getting a little chilly, which is weird, but we finally have kindling. What does the radio have to say? If you live in Pogoran, be advised to remain at home and lock your doors. Armed bands have taken to the streets. No news other than that.
All right, we will have enough water for that shortly. Let's see what else we can make. We could make another trap. Could make a moonshine still. Probably should have done that a while ago. Moonshine still. Ooh, we could make another heater. Too bad that's not necessary anymore. Um, let's see here. Five, ten, and ten. Actually, we could make both. But I don't think we need another trap. A moonshine still, however, could be useful. All right, Bruno, uh, Roman, why don't you go check what's going on down here? Can't make anything in there. Could make fertilizer, but absolutely not. Could make a crowbar, could make a lockpick. How about a lockpick? We have one lockpick. All right, Bruno, get to cooking. Marin, I need you to hang in there, okay? Don't, don't you start talking like that. Uh, we need sugar and water, which we don't have. Okay, and water's coming. Water's coming. That'll be ready by the time today is over. It's getting worse day by day. Yeah, Marin, it is. But things are also, in some ways, getting better. So, chill. Chill! Ugh. Hmm. You keep complaining about smoking, but I am not sympathetic. Ooh, it's 75 degrees. That is warm. Yikes. Probably a bit too warm, actually. For my tastes. Low 70s. Perfect. All right, cook away, Mr. Bruno. All right, make it so. <sighs> All right. Everyone go on upstairs. We're gonna have a communal family dinner. Mm -hmm. Ugh, water. All right, Roman, I'm sorry, you get a can. And that is the end of the day. Okay. At least we had a good trade. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to Central Square. I'm gonna send Roman out and we're gonna see... Oh, golly. We're gonna see what we can find if we go into that house, but I'm afraid it's gonna be uh, bad news. Um, okay. Let's see what happens. Ugh. Ugh, heebie-jeebies. All right. Let's get this open. This is probably a bad idea. Oh, it's all rats. Well, there's a dude up there. I 
I think someone's probably in here. Hmm, no? Maybe not. Ah. Oh. Alright, there's someone there. Uh, close that door. I don't like that he's coming this way. Probably just another scavenger like me. Alright. I'll take that. I don't see anyone. Oh, maybe that's him. Oh, I should have brought a shovel. Alright. Oh wait, no, I can do it by hand, that's right. I just gotta keep an eye on the clock, because this is gonna take a while. Can I help you? Who are you? I should check what they brought. No idea who that is. Hmm. Just don't forget that it's a long run back to the exit. <sighs> this takes a lot of time. Should have had a shovel. Oh well. Didn't have a shovel. Would have had to make a shovel. Could I have made a shovel? Don't know. Maybe not. Alright, we're halfway through the night. Ugh. Don't like any of this. Do not. And hopefully no one has robbed us at home. That would suck. Oh, more. There's no way. I'm not gonna have time for that. But that is all that we need. So how about you take... You take that. And I'll take the wood. Alright. So that's good. That's right, stay away, you say. Sure. Okay, cool. Bam. Very good. I'm feeling better about that. Hopefully that doesn't trigger any depression, because we didn't steal from anyone that I know of. I have no idea. Day 37. Did we get robbed? No, the night was calm. Amazingly. Awesome! Well, that is all the time that I have for this episode of This War of Mine, so thank you so much for joining me, for hanging in there with me, and surviving the severe peaks and val valleys that this game provides. If you guys are enjoying it, please let me know down in the comments below, and as always, do subscribe for more shenanigans, and I will see you next time.